looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it comes. Purgatory is the spirit's jail. Built behind the blind man's wall. Catch the specter behind the glass. He repeats the disembodied voice. It all happens when the bones are cast. After death, there is no choice. Looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it comes. Purgatory is a spirit's jail. Built behind a blind man's wall. Pastors and healers and shamans and poets. We explore the darkened ruins. Bless the good spirits and give them food. Alas, we are coming for you soon. Looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it comes. Purgatory is the spirit's jail. Built behind the blind man's wall. sit on the outside of it as we travel to keep maintain the six feet. But it's okay because with our family, with our learning curve, it kind of goes up three feet and comes back down. So we actually can get pretty close yeah. with our learning curve. Pretty, so, it works so out pretty well. It all works out good. Yeah, no. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Um, old friends, the hospital itself used to be up here and part way down there, okay, where that temple is. Well, there used to be a basement there. Now, when they took the place out, right? So all the dirt from this area has been transferred and was dumped off at Juno Street. Okay? Now when I was at Juno Street, I'm sitting there trying to figure out how come I'm seeing all these hospital uh, people in hospital gowns and, and doctors clothes and everything up, up, up going along the tail. There's like 40 people there. And I, just, I thought, well, wait a second. If they were attached to the earth and all the dirt from here went there, That, that's Very what I'm possible. looking for today. I'm trying to get uh, answers whether or not that happened. Mm -hmm. And I'm also, when I go to June on, I'm going to see if, if I get confirmation there. Now, if I get confirmation from both places, Sorry. Uh, if I get confirmation from both places, then we'll, we'll know for sure that it will work out. So, and I want to thank uh, Joe Blue Falcon for having his phone on. Uh, it's not like we haven't done this before or anything. It's, uh, I'm out of practice. Oh, oh yeah. So you know, it's just. Oh, hang on, hang on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hi, mom. How's it going? Yeah. Good to good to talk to you, mom. <laughs> I'm out of practice. Okay, so that that was awesome. There's three layers of time. It's really weird. I got three separate visions, one on top of each other. There's there's one here. There's one here, and then there's a third one behind that. Okay, there's a guy pushing the gurney, and the guy on the gurney's dead, and then there's some more patients standing in a row, like they're getting pills or something like that. Mm -hmm. People 
people getting pills. Then there's like a few military people, but uh, they don't look like they're, I don't know, maybe training, look like maneuvers or something. And then there's just like a blur of the both, of both all, everything seems to mash together somehow. It's so weird. Even well, for me, that's weird. But I, that makes sense though, because you said that because the hospital was here and then you said the afterwards the military over. thing was here. So that makes perfect sense. It makes sense, but I've never seen time skip into each other like oh, that. Oh, I see, okay. Like I, I've seen, I, I normally, if, if it's a time thing, I'll see the one section at a time. But for whatever reason, it's like both sets of time. That's basically what it, see, it feels like. Both sets of time. They're meshing together, kind of? Yeah, and they're jumping to the future. Like, they both want to tell a story. They both want mm -hmm. something said. Well, it's like they're pushing, both pushing towards me. Well, maybe the mixing of the time is from when they were moving the soil and all everything was getting jumbled together. And, and the spirits were intermingling and, and meshing and meshing together. That could be, too. Which is forcing, you know, the two timelines to come together as one and trying to tell the story at the same time. Yeah, it, it's mm -hmm. just... I've never had that. I've been doing this 51 years. I've never had where two timelines are pushing for dominance. That's what it is. It's like. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's That's like. Not sound, that doesn't sound good, though. Well, it's not. They're not doing it to compete with each other. Okay. They're trying to push through the veil so I can talk to them or you guys can catch them. They don't realize that they're both doing it. Okay. Right? I got gotcha. you. So. Okay. so the two timelines, one timeline wants attention, and, and so does the other one. I don't think they're aware of each other. Okay. Right. So that sounds to me like then that they're going to come forward then and, and try to communicate? That's what Did I'm thinking. Did you get that indication that they want to communicate or speak today? Yeah, yeah. That's good then. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I get that they really want to, to, to be heard. To be heard. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm aware of this other one. There's a lady that wants to be, wants to tell the story. Uh, something about... Uh, tell me if you can find a name, if you get a name. Okay, so something to do with smallpox. Okay. What's your name, dear? Jolene. Jolene Butler. Jolene, but definitely Jolene Butler. I did research on, online, and there was a Sarah as well that I think has passed away in the hospital as well. So if you guys get a Sarah, okay, let me know. Yeah, if you get Jolene, let me know. Okay, but def definitely, definitely Jolene Butler. Okay. Yeah, one hundred percent. That sounds familiar because I was reading about the history of this place. So I'm going to look that up again. It's yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, my history comes from the only history I got was from. People that knew the times, mm -hmm. like my father and, and mm -hmm. a couple other grand uh, grandfathers, told me information. Like, yeah. So I, I didn't. I don't. I don't bother with the books. <laughs> oh, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay. Okay. So uh, we'll talk to y'all very shortly. Okay. Hey, YouTubians. Okay. Here we are, out in the center field, where earlier I felt something. Now, I know I got him somewhere around here. Here we go. I'm gonna, you know, use uh, my parrot, my paratech. See if anyone's willing to talk to us. Who's with me? Now, it's the first time I'm using uh, this new. Brian. Brian is with me. Brian, what are you doing? End. And we saw someone pr pushing a granny. Were you the one pushing it? Are we pushing the, the body on the granny, Brian? Or are you the body? Who are you, Brian?
five, the number five. Okay. Mm. So your number five, the fifth one. Five spirits over there, maybe. Five spirits. Yeah. Olivia. Who's Olivia? Now this used to be a TB in polio. Right under. Yes, where we are right now, you know, we're pretty much under what the hospital used to be. This used to be the basement. Rosaline. Rosaline. Hmm. Now that's a word. That's a one I haven't heard before. So we got Brian. Rosaline. Anybody else here with us? Brian, tell me more about you. Ear. Ear. Okay, you're listening. Good to know. <laughs> I'm listening too. So is all the YouTubians. This is the time to tell your story. To use the other box? Alright, I'm going to end this one and try the other one. Alright, some pretty good hits so far. Let's see what the else has got to be said. Hi, Spinners, how you going? Talk over there to, to Shelly if you want to. You know who Shelly is? Who? Yeah, Shelly. Do you know Spud? There's Spud right there. You say hi, Spud. Hello, spirits. It's okay? Yeah? So, any doctors, nurses, anything like that here? Me? You were a doctor or a nurse? Doctor. Okay. Well, hello, doctor. Thank you for your service and trying to help people out. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Any nurses? Oh, I heard a me back there. Excuse me, nurse. Can you hear me? Hello, nurse. Hello. Hi. I got a question for you. Did some of you people uh, that were hanging out here move to another location? people moved? It's dirt. So 20 people moved with the dirt? They did. Oh. So I guess I guess they were attached to the earth and when the earth was moved they went with it? Yeah. Well that solves that one everybody. You heard it from the spirits. Uh, 20 people that were here moved when they moved the dirt because they were attached to the earth. I can I can say now that I heard from the spirits that that is true. Okay? 
when we go to Junon, I'm going to ask them where they came from and see if, if we get the same uh, response. Yes, <laughs> yes. Who's that walking around out there? Who's that guy with the hat? Lou Falcon. Yes, that's Lou Falcon. Yes. Well, that was pretty clean. Yeah. Who's this? Who's this right here? Who's that? Who, who's got the camera? You hear it? I think I heard kid. Yeah, the kid. <laughs> What's the kid's name? Spud, there you go. Yeah, that's Spud. You're happy? You like Spud? Okay. Is there anything else that the spirits would like to say? Are there any patients that wish to say hello? Hello? Someone said stop. Okay, thank you for coming. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to maybe do another investigation later. That'll help. Okay. You'd like to? Okay. Boy Scouts. <laughs> Boy Scouts. <laughs> All right, spirits. Blessings to you. I'm gonna shut this off. <laughs> we go. Yeah, we go now. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you later. Blessings and love. Bye bye. Well, that was clear. Bye bye. Wow, so that was pretty good. Got a lot of a lot of good information. Um, this place deserves a, another go over later. Now that they kind of met us, I think if we come back another time to do an investigation, we'll get even more uh, stuff. Um, they were pretty clear and adamant about twenty people. Um, that moved with the land. So, that's a plus. Uh, I'm glad that we got that on there. Okay, that's, that's it for now. Hello, spirits. Who do we have with us here? Hello? Ryan, are you with us? Hey, how about Rosaline? Sure. Okay, you guys are coming in too hot and too fast. Come on, slow it down a bit. Okay? Okay, we have Brian. Hey, Brian, what is, what is your job here? Hold on. What am I holding on to? Ryan, what do you have to say for yourself? All right, let's get them all. It's difficult. Okay. Is it difficult to say what you want to say? Veil. Veil. Oh, you try to push through the veil. Okay, I'm going to end uh, this and uh, talk to White Wolf about it. Okay, we're going to end now.